of all the different retouching tools that we offer, my favorite is actually the most old fashioned. It's the clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool is like the granddaddy of all retouching tools. We've all familiar with it. It's been around in image editing applications for 20 plus years. It requires a little bit more setup work. You have to pick a source and then you paint over your destination, but it does things that the other tools, even content aware tools like the perfect eraser just can't do. Let me give you an example here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And you notice on this one baluster right here, it's cracked in half and it's missing. Well, if I simply paint it over that with a regular retouching tool, it's not going to know what to do. It can't fix that gap. But let me show you by using the clone stamp tool, I can. So I've selected the clone stamp tool up in the top. I've made my brush about the size that I need, just a little bit bigger than that baluster. My opacity is up to 100 percent. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set a source location. I'm going to pick another one of these balusters that has a similar background behind it. So something that's gray behind it like this one right here. So I'm just going to hold down the Alt key or the Option key on my keyboard to sample where I want to copy from. I want to copy from here and I want to paste it over here. Now you notice as soon as I've loaded the brush up by holding that Option key down, when I move the brush around, you can actually see the source pixels inside of the brush. This is really handy because it helps me align the source pixels up with my new spot. So I can kind of look to line it up where it's supposed to go right there. And I'm just going to click and I'm just going to drag down. Watch. It's going to magically fill that in with the correct baluster. How cool is that? There's no other retouching tool that can do that. The other place where I really love the clone stamp tool is in areas where I've got a really defined pattern behind it that I need to match up. Like when you're working on brick. Let's say there's this ugly electrical conduit right here and I want to get rid of it. Well, if I was to use another tool like the perfect eraser and I tried to get rid of this, watch what will happen. If I brush over this. It's going to fill it in, but I'm going to lose that mortar line between the brick, probably. Yeah, so see, it did a good job of filling it in, but now it looks like I've got this giant two coarse uh, tall set of brick. What I really have to do is I want to manually clone this line over it instead. So let me undo. I'm just going to go back to the clone stamp tool. Let's make my brush a little bit smaller here. I'm going to use a bigger feather this time. I want to use like a 30 or a 40 feather. I'm going to line up right where I want to start to clone from right here to right down here. And now I can just go right across there. And it blends in and I get that mortar line that lines up. You can even use the clone stamp tool on something as complex as removing like an entire window, but still keeping that brick texture. Again, I'm going to use a nice big fat brush for this. I'm going to pick the source right over here. And then I'm just going to align it. So watch, get everything aligned so that my mortar lines are lined up. And then I'm just going to paint straight down. And you can do that multiple times to fill it in and then use the other retouching tools to get rid of some of the areas that get doubled up that you don't want to have appear more than once. Again, set your source, paint right down, and there you go. I've removed it. Then I'll just make my brush a little bit smaller, and we'll get rid of some of these little imperfections that we may not want to see in there more than once. There you go. That's how to use the clone stamp tool to remove and retouch the really hard stuff. Thanks for watching.